Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. Uh, I am here for, well, kind of another review. Um, uh, this time it's a bit different. Why do I say that? Well, it's a review, alright, but it's one of my guild uh, mates. Um, so first let's have a look who, how the standings are. Currently I'm the rank 1 from the guild. <laughs> so that's always good. And uh, Squigs, 100, and uh, Rashane are very close to me. Learning Doctor is also very close. Nobody, uh, Binad, Zeldar. They're doing a good job. Uh, my man, I, Luke Hardex, is, uh, I think he hasn't played uh, too much Arena today yet. Uh, last learn 11 hours ago, so he has a full. He still needs to spend all of his uh, arena invites. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get into the re uh, the review. Um, the review was uh, from for Binnenhout. So let's go and visit him. Uh, I'll read up uh, the comment he said. Uh, hey man, um, please could you give me some advice uh, on my summoner uh, summons? So that's his monsters, I guess. <laughs> Currently, I hit a wall in arena due to lack of better runes. So, any arena offense and arena defense advice, as well as giants advice, please uh, do so. <laughs> Currently, my arena offense is a water self, the case is making an illusion. I pulled the water self yesterday, and also I'm stuck on Giants B6. That surprised me that you're stuck on Giants B6, because B7, I think B7 is not that difficult. So let's see what we got here. We got an Arnold, Lucian, nice uh, attack there. Uh, ooh, you miss a bit of crit. A little bit crit. Uh, you could try to get it on this slot, maybe. That little bit more uh, of crit, because it will make a big difference if it's 100% of five. Uh, well, five percent. It kind of makes a big difference because sometimes you will attack, you won't heal, and that, those times are disgusting. Cases, um, despair energy. Okay, you want some help on arena offense and defense and giants. So first, let me think about giants, because giants is. Uh, I think B7 shouldn't be too hard for you, but let me think uh, for a little. So, Lucian and Cases and uh, Amon are very good for uh, doing giants. All these monsters. Lucian, not that much, but he is really good for B7. He's really good because he can speed things up quite a bit. Cases is there for the surviving, and Amon is for healing up. Now, how to beat giants is basically uh, a fight of putting as much debuffs on the giant. Um, what you can do if you want to use that, well, you, you, what you should do if you are going to try giants, you should have a unit that gives a defense break slash attack uh, break, mostly an attack break. So... If I'm correct, your Arnold has that. Arnold, yeah, weakens the attack power, that's good. So you could use Arnold for weakening their attack power. Um, if this sticks on the giant, it will do a lot less damage. Um, but we also want to have something to... You could go um, two ways with this. You could take, for example, Megan, so the Toad Poison would get rid of his um, attack buff or you could go with another debuff like a glancing hit that could be good as well um, but currently your damage 
like the best damage you can have against the giants is continuous damage uh, dots. So your cases has that a little bit, but his accuracy is just 19%, so he's not gonna get that dot stick on him. Um, I do think you can kill him with just damage, uh, because your cases and aim should keep your life long enough, especially when the attack buff is uh, on him. What you could, uh, let me check this area out. Is that, is this skill? Okay, so Aria could be a good unit for you because it gives a glance again, but I would prefer to go with um, the Shannon then, because she provides you with the buff to reduce the damage and increase your damage, and she provides you with the glancing hit. Uh, and when you want a runer, you want to have accuracy on 6, so she will hit all those attacks. Uh, that's what I uh, would do. I would even pick her over uh, that Arya or over uh, the Megan, because the glancing hit together with the buff in one unit is so good. Um, it's, it's so much better than anything else. And within this team, I would make your um, Lucian the leader. Eventually, when you go for B10, you want to um, get some units that have continuous damage dots that they can put on. And that the reason is because they have way too much life for you to... Uh, well, you, they have way too much life uh, for you to take them down by sheer raw damage of the units. So he, uh, the Succubus does have some continuous damage dots, the only problem is that it is hits randomly, but it could work. Um, I must say it's uh, like, oh wait, <coughs> Jus and <coughs> Jojo also have those uh, continuous damage dots, only there's a cooldown on this uh, skill. And your cases has them, though, so you could uh, consider going with uh, maybe a focus set instead of energy or maybe just an accuracy rune on 6 and yeah now for your arena offense and defense okay your offense is your water self I'm guessing that you're still working in Tyron right was the water self the cases okay wait water self why would you go with crit damage? Isn't it smarter to go with something else than crit damage? Like uh, attack or no, not attack, HP percent or something. I mean, his attack is terrible anyway, so I would not, I would not even run him with attack runes. I would just go for more health so you can stay alive a bit longer and do more controlling. Okay, but um, the cases. Um, I'm not sure how much damage she does for you, but I do know that I don't like the cases on offense if you already use your water silver as well, your Tyron. Uh, the reason for that is because both Tyron and Akasis are, are not really um, working well together because first of all your Tyron controls units and then your Akasis uh, gives you a buff that makes you take less damage but if they're already controlled they won't this force shield won't really do much it does give you a uh, longer uh, it does give you the chance of being a slower comp if you can get these guys to go off that you can save some of your units. Then you got Megan plus Lucian. Um, I would definitely take a different uh, take on this uh, this team. I would definitely do something different. Um, okay, I'll tell you what I would think would be my offense if I were you. It was arena offense, right? Not defense. Arena offense, yeah. I guess you take different units all the time, but I would take. Uh, 
Oh, this is a good jump, by the way. Um, Tyron, I would take Tyron as my leader. Together with Megan. So now we get Tyron and Megan. Megan should let you go first. Uh, then I would take Lucian and Arnold. So how this is going to happen now is that your Megan is going to be first. So you buff up. Then Tyron... I'm not sure if Tyron is going to be second. Is Tyron going to be second? No, it's not second. Is that bad? Is it bad that Tyron is not second? Well, it kind of is. Um, I would suggest trying to switch these two rooms out uh, for some more subs uh, well they have to be despair but I mean for um, more survivability and with some subset speed so Tyron uh, could go second then he could do his hailstorm then you can see which units are controlled and which aren't then you go with your Lucian so your Lucian kinda you wanna have your Lucian go before your um, Arnold um, and the reason why is because if Lucian attacks his, with his amputation magic, you have you can see which units are close to that or almost that uh, or whatever, right? And then Arnold can pick off the unit you want to take out with this extortion. If it's the other way around, something like this could happen. You could uh, do amputation magic, and they had a Remagos. Um, if it's the other way around, so you do extort on the unit. Uh, that you want to kill, like Dare Lucian, for example. Then you do Amputation Magic, uh, and you kill another unit, uh, but they had a Remagos. And now the Remagos is below 50% uh, and just kills your Lucian straight away. If this is the other way around, your Lucian does the Amputation Magic, and then you can choose which one you want to kill with uh, Arnold. And that would be my attack team. The Tyron, Tyron together with uh, Megan. And then Lucian and Arnold uh, would be a great attack team. I think that's a lot stronger than what you use right now. Okay. Um, for Arena off uh, defense, I would do the same setup, but I would switch out Lucian, and I would put in. I would put in. What should I put in? I, I'm thinking either. Amon or the cases. I think Amon. You have to work on his skills, by the way, man. Try to uh, do those uh, secret dungeons of any kind of element and get Amon uh, skilled up because uh, then his uh, provoke will be uh, ha happening a lot often, more often. Um, why do you take Lucian out on defense? Well, basically it's not that hard. Lucian is a really squishy unit and he will fuck up quite often the, on defense or die before he does anything. Oh, I would actually make a change here. I would go Tyrone. I would use your uh, Wind that night. When He needs to be 6 start for that, but I would use him. Uh, Arnold. And maybe even Ramagos. That is a pretty strong team, actually. You could do several things, but um, your Ramagos plus your Wind that night plus your Fire that night is already a really strong composition because all these units are pretty strong um, and hard to kill. Um, Arnold brings an extortion, which are, can kill units quite easily. And if they, uh, the, the Remagos can clean shot quite easily, and because he takes AOE damage probably, and then his he has a uh, revive, and it evens out uh, the health. So, like for example, if they kill a unit and you used he used revive, the health of Remagos will go down probably, and then he can clean shot as well. So that's a good synergy there. Um, and then you need a leader. You couldn't actually make her your leader and have the HP buff. That could actually be pretty decent. Um, yes, your comp will be very slow then, but your comp is hard to kill. So you have the time, you know. You could also just 
stick with the Tyron in the team uh, for the control and make her a bit more beefy with these two runes being HP percent. Then still go with those three units because then they're a little bit faster and you maybe get the edge with uh, him having the control. But since Tyron is quite slow, you kind of need to have um, you kind of need to have a different uh, leader. You could maybe just lead off with Megan. That's also a possibility. I think actually, in my, I think then Arya is probably the best leader skill, but he's not the best unit to take with you. Okay, you could do Tyron plus Megan, and then fire that knight. And win that night. Well, to be honest, I think the best setup you could do is uh, the fire that night, the win that night, plus Ramagos, and then some unit with a good leader skill, uh, which I think Megan could be decent, but one of the speed leaders could be decent as well. Um, but that's a really tanky team and I think a lot of people will uh, not like to fight that team. Yeah, you need to work on some of the units obviously, but uh, I think that's a great team. Um, I'm not even sure if I talked about everything, but I think I did. So I'm going to leave it with... I'm going to leave it like that. You could okay wait this is a possibility as well I just thought of something you could make your cases leader giving your uh, your ram gas and your brain brain grind uh, close to 70% uh, uh, resistance which is pretty strong and only your uh, Arnold won't have the high resistance uh, then but that's fine, and you have the cases room for uh, some decent speed, so she will make you come up even more um, tanky. So that's uh, I think that's a really good one. The cases, Ramagos, and uh, Brand, Brand, the Wind DK, plus the Fire DK. You could maybe swap out Ramagos for Copper as well. Um, but uh, that's up to you. Yeah, so uh, that could be a really good team. And for your offense, as I already said, um, Tyrone plus Megan plus Lucian plus the dad, the fire that night is going to be a lot stronger than what you were saying to me uh, that you use. The case is not going to be real helpful on off offense. Um, not if you utilize um, Lucian in your team. Because Lucian is there for to burst them down. And I so also will suggest that you won't take on tanky teams uh, with this setup then. Okay, that was it man. I hope it was useful for you. I think uh, I, uh, I, I helped you a bit. And uh, good luck in the arena. And let's get up together. Do some nice raiding. Up to the conqueror zone. Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys later. Ciao.